Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachux and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we to see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, most of today's news. Alright, so Gold.com and Mike Verwedge himself don't come and let us know say uh, Timber don't agree personal terms with Arsenal five years deal. Say the guy will join Arsenal. Remember, so we tell him talk say Arsenal already sell their projects to this player Julian Timber. Now the breaking news is that he has accepted personal terms with Arsenal for five years. So the only thing we would expect now, according to Go, to go and see the Go publish the news. So Go say there's an agreement like 40 million we go take place. Yeah? So we are expecting Ajax and Arsenal to agree on a deal of 40 million. Let's say 40, 45, so that the guy will come join us now because the guy is sold on the project he can't wait to come and join us and this guy joined the uh, ajax academy from fire Nord from a very very tender age so he don't play that one round 21 games for them like they're a mainstay for the ajax uh, please yeah, so he played very well for them so at the end of the day he won't step up in career and go and join us now so i believe saying that this week yeah, i'm expecting a bid from arsenal to ajax this week for 40 45 million to collect this guy. Not to say this one will too waste time because Ajax wants to sell, Aston wants to buy, player wants to move. So win win for everybody. So not just the wait. Now away from that, so CBS Sports, the report say Al Khalij waiting for Saudi Arabia, are they ready to collect party on a loan move with an obligation to buy? So they are coming to Aston with a loan proposal. So okay, after the loan move, we'll, we'll buy this guy from the handle. But I don't think Arsenal will sanction that kind of deal. Loan move for a Thomas Party. Are you kidding me? If you don't get the money, make you know near this place. Get down in those who get money. Now I make them come and say they won't buy our play. I don't think we are raising that type of offer. And I don't even think Party wants to even go to Saudi Arabia. Party wants to still remain for this Europe, you get. And another twisting thing, they say. Adrian Rabiot with Juventus, uh, the reason say maybe they will keep on their books. His contract is going to expire at the end of June. Don't forget that at the end of June, I think June 30, yes, that is when every player's contract does a reset. Yes. So by June ending, then players will be said they won't be free agents, will become officially a free agent because their contract will reset and that guy will not get any more years. For a god and I find out the last lap in the so you better stay like fight with that making sister in mama and being agents so mama they request for big money for the guy but you better not get that money to pay so now Manchester United don't enter the race for Adrian Rabios because they look to uh, for alternatives for that missing mount so they only find Adrian Rabios because he's a French international and he's a very decent player tall and very very strong so we we'll just watch every single turn out because if Juventus end up paying Adrian Rabiot and retains him. I don't see them going for part of but who knows? They may still come for him. So we'll just watch out every single turn. At the end of the day, don't be surprised. By the time we season will start, part of will go anywhere. Because I don't make a cast in my mind back. And I remember when Grand Shaka almost joined Roma. He don't even accept personal terms with Roma. Murillo, the reason I'm saying one sign up. Last last, we still saying go go. And that time, no can sanction the deal. So when I remember how it be. So don't be surprised if this party own self take the same course. Get so at the end of the day, we all expect party to leave. We leave. We want to Saudi Arabia. We want to Juve. We want to stay for Europe. Last, last, this player will still remain at Arsenal. Get so let's just watch as everything will unfold. All right. So Aaron Ramsey will be one of the former Arsenal players. Can you beg Arsenal to make them not do away with Folari Balogun? Because in his opinion. This boy is ready for the EPL. Yeah, that is his own opinion. But the thing they say, you are not the coach. Yeah, and the coach, there ain't no players. We go fit into in philosophy. Like we always say, you can't compare the English Premier League, the way the defender the defenders are playing with the French League One. You get one question why we won't ask anybody with the sheer that kind of sentiment where Ramsey get they say, do you think for Larry Balogun for this next season where they come? Say Ingo will score up to 20 goals in the EPL. Honest assessment without bias, without being subjective. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think Balogun, if you spearhead Arsenal attack, Ingo will score 20 goals per season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, do you think Balogun can spearhead our attack in the Champions League? Get and we stand a chance 
to unlock some top level team defenses. So let me know your thoughts. Maybe like, maybe now let me they see that the way we are the same. So make I just buy into our own opinion. Let me know what you think about Falari Balovo leading the line. Maybe putting him in the number nine big role. Is for bench? Have still for bench? Let me know your thoughts. All right, so as I make a cast in my mind back to the top teams, we don't win the most titles for the EPL because you need to know your history. You get most people think they maybe just don't win more titles than us. You get everybody get their time. So from the statistics, why they show you so Manchester United don't win 20 league titles, Liverpool don't win 19, Arsenal 13, Chelsea uh, City 9, Everton 9, Chelsea 6. Even Arsenal will win more titles than Chelsea. Arsenal that don't win 7. And what it made me bring all these things? So that I equip you with ammunitions of knowledge, with information, because knowledge is power. What you don't know, you don't know until somebody tell you. Because some Arsenal fans actually think Chelsea have won more trophies than us. Cast your mind back before when Mourinho just entered Chelsea. How many years Chelsea did before Mourinho come break the jeans, come win title? He said almost 50 years. It is the win title now, Beans. Yes. When was the last time Manchester United won a league title? That's what you should be looking at. Yeah, so everybody get time. 2003, 2004, when Arsenal they rule the EPL, we all this booty. Just goes to show you how things get. So now that city time, maybe I enjoy and why it lasts. You know, go last forever. I get this is that time, it will still phase out. Another person will come rule. When Mario did, they collect the title like mad. You go where this booty. When I just focus on there, they post everywhere. Where we are others. So everybody have their time. So let Man City enjoy it while it lasts. No baby man can carry champions back to back to back to back. We are other people did. <laughs> so now so it does me. Alright, so away from that, so Giorgio and a host of other players go attend Arizabalaga wedding. Yes, Arizabalaga did actually do a wedding yesterday. So Kai Hubbard and um, which is the color Kovacic and um, which person again? I think Giorgio, all of them snap picture. Yes, so Giorgio can post them. So many, many Arsenal fans were very happy, but Chelsea fans were very sad because they feel say they disrespectful. Most Arsenal fans can't believe say Giorgio don't even first Arsenal officially unveil Kai Havertz because that picture is like a confirmation that this guy is going to be an Arsenal player. I'm just about to cast my mind back when Giorgio and Kai Havertz were playing together at the Chelsea team. Most people don't really understand say so we took like two of the best of Chelsea because when you check out, we took Giorgio who is a vice captain in the Chelsea dressing room, somebody who had a vocal voice and we took him from them he gets for you to know say they know what they do with the Enzo Fernandez, Ngolo Kante, then Zakaria when they feel so okay we have enough ammunition where Giorgio you can go and the guy came into Arsenal and did one that did very well now we are taking another person to say since we're in Bayern I don't think he has ever left the first level for all the managers we don't come for actual Chelsea every manager that came in always played Kai Havertz and at the end of the day we've taken him from them because they don't know how to utilize him to his potential. So we said go unlock the women they play for Bayer Leverkusen in the past and let everybody know that this is a different player. So that's what it is. All right, so Emma Smith Rowe don't score again for the England under 21 versus Israel. So what's made me just happy for this Emma Smith Rowe? We say this guy, you know, say don't take when he play last season, like in talk was like one of the worst seasons in his career. I had a groin injury, he did surgery, you get many, many things happen, and the nothing just put them inside because the manager no would like to change a winning team. So everything just happened like that. But I'm happy for him that he's back to the field of play and scoring he gets. So now I'm saying they play very well for this uh, England under 21. Then when preseason come, you go down be used to the playing surface. Get when you just come, you go integrate easily back into the team. Get so I'm just happy for him. Let him just continue. I wish him all the best of luck. And then when they see their lineup, they get no Nima Dweke, they get the Wicowil for the defense. They, they're very nice, nice players. So I expect them to even win the competition. Yeah, they are okay. Alright, so Southampton delusion with Lavia. Now, sometimes we say, as I make I talk about, and see where the issue deal with Southampton now. Do you know that last August, Chelsea actually offered £50 million for Romeo Lavia or Southampton, then delivered the relegation, and Southampton turned it down? So, I just let, let you know why Southampton the carry price keep for £50 million. Do you also know that by 2024, Man City have a buyback clause? With them put at 40 million pounds. So, okay, if we want to buy this player back, bring him back, we are offering you 40 million. So, when Southampton will look 50 million, we then reject before, and 40 million, we sit to talk, say, okay, if we want to let the boy in the future, 2024, it will be activated easily. 
they will pay you 40 million. So they're going to call it there, ask and say, make Arsenal pay 50 million. Now look at the problem. Ryan Taylor, he gets, when they tell, give me spots for one interview, let them know, say, this player is 100% sold on Arsenal's projects. He won't join Arsenal. But where the problem comes in is the fee. Arsenal is not going to pay you 50 million for a player like Romeo Latvia. It is a no brainer. It will never happen again. So Arsenal is looking for them to reduce the fee. So we are looking at a 35 40 million pounds with add ons. That's what we are looking at. Well, sometimes in the field, say they reject 50 million before in the past and for City get 40 million buyback clause. So maybe if they don't sell to Arsenal, they go feel wait for these guys. But look at the problem. The player just wants to join Arsenal and Arsenal only because he has the opportunity to play in Europe. Chelsea are not in Champions League, they're not in Europa League, they're not in UEFA Europa Conference League. So the only place the player has to enjoy European football is at Arsenal. So that's what the player is looking at. And if they say make them wait, they don't sell to Arsenal, that means the player is going to stay at least one more year in the championship because Man City clubs would they are they able to be activated by January, which means the player will not play like a part of the championship, the first part of the championship. And Chelsea is not really looking at his direction this time anymore. Chelsea are still looking at Moses Casado. So we we'll just watch. I thought they laid the background for you to understand what is going on with this Latvia. So everything has sometimes in hand it did. Arsenal wants to buy the player they are interested. The player wants to join Arsenal, but will Southampton bring down the price from the 50 million? That they rejected from Chelsea last August. So we'll just watch how all these things will unfold as the transfer window they go. Alright, so what you want to see now is say Arsenal could go above 200 million without selling any player. Because as it looks now, Arsenal are really investing. People don't see these investments that Arsenal are making. So people say the Crockett are not spending, they are not spending 200 million are being supposed to spend last summer. People think we are not spending, but we are actually spending. And with where we are going, we may become the highest spenders in this summer transfer window. Look at it. We don't already pay 65 million for Kai Harris. Now we are looking at 100 million for Declan Rice. We are still looking at 40 45 million for Timber. And we are still looking at this uh, Romeo Ladri, another 35 40 million. We may still go back for Cancelo. Cancelo is going to cost maybe like 30, maybe like 50 million or thereabouts. And we may still look at a winger for Saka to come and cover him. Like, look at all these people we are spending money on. First of all, the first three players don't know will cost that kind 200 million. China, that's more money be that. That is why paying so much on one player might be disastrous somehow because we have so many other roles to fill up but we'll just watch so this one are just to kill off all those sentiments all those perceptions that Arsenal are not spending money whereas this summer transfer window we may be the highest spender so make sure just know as they go all right Fabrizio Romano don't come and and let us know say everything about Kai Havertz transfer don't they sign sealed done and dusted get all the documents don't exchange hands every party don't sign their own so the guy the medical is going to be imminent we're going to break the news about Kai Havertz and Kovacic that's going from Chelsea to Man City whereas Kai is going from Chelsea to Arsenal so everything is done and dusted so like this now the guy and Arsenal player until maybe when Arsenal won't announce him officially unofficially we all know he's an Arsenal player so with the wait for Arsenal official announcements with the video that a normal video graphic and uh, this thing we don't want to unveil the player to everybody so that is what we are actually waiting for so one down and more to come all right so craig burley don't come back when you talk about declan rice so by the of the opinion say see if arsenal feel manage get this declan rice by any way possible if the fee get that it's going to be a very very big get because they imagine a situation whereby Arsenal can get declan rice let's party go let shaka go and still retain Jorginho and still get Romeo Latvia so you'll be having Latvia rice and Jorginho in your squad say so good day very very fantastic again they say have your Odegaard say have your Fabio Vera we are expecting Fabio Vera to come good this new season because last season don't forget a really really good preseason because of injury this time around we expect him to come good so now we'll see Baba just the analyze out there and me personally I buy his line of thoughts get because Thomas Partey is declining whether I like to hear it or not he's declining he's not the party we used to know this season party was one of the reasons why we were not very very solid in the middle of the pack the guy declined he was not 100 percent the one who needed him the most he flops not just him but at least Saka can be excused because Saka don't play consecutively for many many years week in week out they play every day when was the last time he had injury that missed a match you get so excuses can be given for Saka so okay he needs a breathing space what can you tell about party sometimes even in travel we send physiotherapists to follow up he's just like an egg he's just a protector 
You don't need that anymore. Declan Rice has an injury free game. You get? He has a clean bill of health. When was the last time you see Declan Rice get injury? But when they play, he played like 50 something games this season. That's what it just be. So let's just watch everything. If you know, I agree with Justin Craig, what did they talk? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But one thing you need to understand is growth is very, very painful. Your favorites will be sold. Your favorites will be taken out of Arsenal and more players will come in. So that is what it's about growth. Without pain, how do you feel growth? You have the best faith in the gym. I know how I feel pain. I your bosses will take growth. So that's how life is. It gets most of the growth you see comes through pain and failure. So that's what it will be. Let's move on. Alright, so there's a new Declan Rice twist. So from what we will hear now, eh, if West Ham and Arsenal and Ophi agree on a fee, Declan Rice will have to choose between staying back at West Ham one more year or going to Manchester City. So Everly will choose that choice because that was the choice Mudrik had because Arsenal and Shakhtar could not agree on a fee. So Mudrik had the choice of staying back at Ukraine where they are fighting war or go to Chelsea. He had no choice. He now went to Chelsea because make a given that the full story of that Mudrik. After Chelsea made their bid, you get uh, Shakhtar gave Arsenal the option to match what Chelsea did. Now Arsenal see the no fee match up, you get so. And I think if Kerr is not taking the same thing might happen here. Man City may come up at the end of the day and make a ridiculous bid, and they will give Arsenal the right of reply. Say, okay, can you match what Man City have done? If you cannot match it, then the player will have the choice to choose between going to City or staying at West Ham where he thinks he has overstayed his welcome. At the end of the day, the outcome may not be favorable to us. So my dear Arsenal lovers, if you don't watch yesterday's show, check the top left corner of the screen, you'll see the thumbnail. Click up so that you'll get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So start you signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. I came out.